Hey YouTube, it's Sir Plus CCGs here, and uh, as promised, here's the rare and common binder that is like you know better than your average common and rare. All right, let's get started. So I guess I'll start talking to you guys as I'm flipping through these pages, cause I'm sure you guys like that better than music, or maybe you don't. I'm not sure. But um, so right now, currently. We're waiting to get playmats in the mail, which we're supposed to be getting on Tuesday. Uh, got a 500 subscription contest going on, and the winner can either have a Brownic Dragon or a Scrap Dragon. Um, I'm waiting to get a huge, huge, huge collection of Pokemon cards. If the person that I bought it from is actually sending the cards or not, I'm not sure. But um, I have bought from them in the past before, so... We should be okay. But um, I'm not sure if you guys are into Pokemon or not. Obviously, you're watching a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, so I'm not sure if that's, uh, you know, your demographic or not. But there's going to be 110 Level X and EX cards, thousands of holographics, uh, thousands of rares. Um, that looks like the end of the binder. <laughs> that was faster than I thought. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff coming to me in the mail. So if you guys are interested in Pokemon, well, then stay tuned for those videos. Um, what else do I have? I have some sleeves that would fit Pokemon cards right here. I got, uh, they're, they're, they're Deck Protector Ultra Pros. There's 50 in a uh, per pack or whatever. Um, I don't know if I can get you guys to get, get look at them or not, but they should be dark blue. But yeah, I've got four packs of those. Um, I do have some other good like comments and stuff, but I didn't really want to like waste my time and put them in a binder because I'm kind of lazy. So I'll just try to do it like this real fast. Right now I'm practicing on uh, making Orca cards, uh, but unfortunately I only like to do stuff that's on like the highest end possible. So I've been trying to learn how to make the holographic ones, and I tried to buy the like the correct supplies for it but it just seemed too expensive because it's like fifty dollars just just to buy the paper to print the image on to put on the card the other thing i try and do is figure out the thickness of the card and stuff like that so i can just like buy regular paper like this i won't actually like if i make orcas though it's not going to have this on the back i'm just going to leave it white that way people know that it's not a real card obviously but you know there's dumb people out there so all right You'll see, like, as you're coming up to, I'm coming up to it right now, I was trying to do a holographic one, but it's funny. When you follow the steps that people tell you to follow, see, here's an example. I was working on this one to make it all holographic or whatever. It looks, it looks pretty good. It's coming up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was working on it, but it's funny because when you start trying to do it, they start crinkling up like this. So I, have to better have to, I probably have to buy some better adhesive or something. But the other thing I was going to try to find is just the paper that they print this on. So that I could like make it straight and lay, lay it out, just print them in sheets or whatever. And then, you know, whatever. I'm working on that now, so hopefully you'll see. Maybe one day I'll have a video of that. And then there's this one I was working on also. Alright, so that's that. Um, here's some other cards here. Uh, let me see what kind of Heavy Storm this is. I think it's a, uh, yeah, this is uh, from the Metal Raiders pack. Alright, boom, boom. I mean, there's like some good cards that I haven't put in that binder yet, but I'll start working on it. But this is just much easier for me. So, yeah, these are just like good commons and rares. If you guys are looking to make decks or something, you can always, you know, use these. Now, some might go for like a dollar, some might be a little bit more expensive than that. Uh, if, if I have to like throw in cards into a trade or something because I'm short a little bit, then this is probably what I'm going to, this is the ultimate spirit barrier. Um, you know, um, yeah, if I had to throw something into a trade or whatever, it's a super poly from Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, so yeah, if I need to throw something into a trade or whatever, this is, you know, stuff I can probably throw in dark, uh, not dark arm dragon, sorry, arm dragon level seven, change his appearance. Uh, like, you know, I got so many cards, I just have to organize them. But I'm trying to, you know, I'm looking to buy some collections. So if you guys are looking to sell or you're quitting or whatever, or you're thinking about quitting, 
if you end up quitting, let me know, and I'll buy your stuff. Because I do buy a lot of stuff. And some crazy stuff is when I when I buy it, a lot of the stuff that I get, or just stuff in general that I have, if I'm showing you this video right now, you gotta, like, probably private message me pretty quick, unless it's, like, some crappy stuff like this. But in other videos, if I have some good stuff, I get a lot of private messages for them. So a lot of the playmats that I had from like the past videos have been traded so I'm gonna have to try to do like another playmat update here pretty soon I just did a playmat update with the ones I had in my house which are like you know this one here and a couple other ones that I threw over there but um yeah I need to figure out you know how to keep maybe I'll like start listing them in my description or something um another thing I think is pretty cool to show you guys is uh my wind up magician collection these are all wind up magicians I was hoping to see a price increase in these but yeah these are all all these are all these are wind up magicians yeah all right so i don't know that's probably probably a pretty big waste of time there um what else can i show you i just stack these on top real fast oh, i'm covering up the camera sorry about that um this is the binder that i just like cleared out a little bit uh totem dragon regeki some Gravekeeper Spies, co uh, Second Coin Toss, Heart of Clear Waters. So, yeah, like I said, I just put a lot of these cards in the other binder to make it look nicer. Uh, there's a Mind Crush there. Some more Crystal Beast, Topaz Tigers. Uh, Paralyzing Chain, Power Bond, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Gravekeeper's Descendant. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. Just some, just some, you know, okay. So I think you guys have seen enough. Um... If you guys are looking for anything else that I haven't shown you in my videos, just let me know. Alright, see you guys later.